And then what? Say it. Hey friends, this is Robert, and we are here at Daybird Aviaries. Catherine's here helping me, of course. And today we're going to paint a bird cage. Now there comes a, a time in the life of every bird cage where you're going to have to make the decision: is it worth keeping, or should I just toss it? Now this cage is structurally sound. There's nothing major wrong with it. It just has some spots here where the paint is worn. And Captain just doesn't like the color. She wants she wants a pretty color for one of her pretty birds, for her little finch. And so she has picked out a can of spray paint. Now I am often asked, can I paint a cage? Is it safe to paint a cage? The short answer is yes, absolutely it is safe to paint a cage. With a couple of precautions. You have to make sure that everything is absolutely dry before you put the bird back into the cage. You also have to make sure that you do this outdoors, away from all your birds. Birds have a very sensitive respiratory system and you do not want to cause them any kind of distress. You don't want to use any kind of aerosol, anything around birds, air fresheners, deodorants, cleaners, anything. The propellants in the aerosol cans are toxic to the birds, not to mention the fumes that come from the chemicals. Dad, what kind of paint can you use? Look, I think that's a very good question. Almost any commercially available paint available in the United States is going to be child safe, safe for babies, once it is completely dry, once it has completely cured. Now that's not to say that the wet paint is going to be safe, but if you get a can of paint and it says, we got some major noises going on, if the can says that it is crib safe or safe for children's toys or children's furniture, then it will certainly be safe for your birds. Now, I have talked to the customer service people at Rust-Oleum, and all of their spray paints are going to be safe once they are completely dry and once they are completely cured. Now, this is a, a paint, it is paint and primer. This is not a paid commercial for them. I paid for this. I bought this at Walmart with my own money. I just picked out well, Captain picked out the color, and it's just something that we picked out that we wanted to spray this this cage for her little finch. And so, are you ready, Catherine? Yep. Come on, take it, take it, take it! And then what? Spray it. Okay. Come stand on one side and spray so that you're not spraying it on me. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, it will be. Here, can I help? No. Okay. No. You want to do lots of thin coats instead of one big thick coat. Yeah, you got it on you. You can't even hold the trigger down. Okay. Here, let me. I Look. Eat what? I know. Here, move. You want to move the can back and forth and give a light coat over the whole thing. And then you're going to let it dry. And then you can do another coat. You didn't shake. Well, folks, Catherine got tired of helping to spray paint, and so she went to play with her baby ducks, and that has caused all the Conyers to overreact. 
I just want to point out a few things. You want to make sure that your cage is really, really clean. Now we had cleaned this cage a few days ago, but apparently overnight, I don't know if, if this is gonna pick up or not, but there are spider webs here and it is spray painting the spider webs. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with this. I will clean those spider webs off before we put the bird into the cage. If you have any large rust spots, you're gonna to want to sand those down. And you're not gonna to want to try to paint over big flaky rust spots. If, if you have a cage where it's that far gone, you may want to just replace the cage. But if it's just light surface rust, you can sand over that and then spray paint this with uh, the Rust-Oleum paint that has the primer in it and you won't have any any trouble, any concern with that. But I think that's a very pretty color. It's not something that is commercially available in a bird cage. And I think that's going to look really nice. So we're just going to continue on with light coats of paint until we have this all covered to the desired effect. And now for good measure, make sure that you flip the cage over and you get the underside. I know that's not necessarily going to be visible, but it is going to help protect the cage from further rust. and it gets everything from an angle that you would have missed otherwise. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color. I see. I see spider webs. Yeah, we cleaned it a couple of days ago, but I guess the spider got to it last night. Oh, I see a little bit of dirt too. Yeah, that came off the table. Oh, so pretty. Now you painted the table too. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. Mama's going to be mad. Well... Let me tell you what I did this morning. I brushed Catherine's hair with one of those Dollar Tree brushes, the colored one, and I had it all over my hand. I still have some on it. I can get it off. Oh, that's what that off. is? That's the color off of the handle of the hairbrush? Off the hairbrush. I saw mm -hmm. that at church this morning. Didn't know what you had done. From the Dollar Tree. Well, how crazy is that? I know. And it's a pretty color. I just didn't think it would come off. Wow. And on my hands. Huh. From all places. Anyway. Your essential oil diffuser necklace. Oh, send over. Well, it's it's reflecting sunlight yeah. into my eyes. Well, I had to put grounding. I did a Zyto scan today at Miss Diane. Yeah. And it showed that uh, I was like 40 biomarkers off, whatever that means. 40? 40. There are only 76. Well, I was 40 off. And out of those 29, they were grounding, I needed. Wow. Grounding was put back into place, 29. And then sacred frankincense, then more. The frankincense is just awesome. But that's sacred frankincense. Right, it's else. different. Yeah, the different species. And then the other one was finance. Well, yeah, we need that, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> and the other one was on more the... Um, Derma Clariderm. Clariderm? Yeah. That's yeah. for skin health. Well, apparently I need that, too. Okay. Daniel needed that also, but he's I a know. greasy teenage boy. Well, I'm a greasy teenage middle-aged woman, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. You trying to blind me with that medallion? No, I'm trying to show them uh, the medallion. That's the tree of life. It's the tree of something, and it's soaked. <laughs> I put too much <laughs> <It's grounding. soaked. laughs> Too much grounding. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. So do you think the little finch is going to be pretty in this cage? Maybe. Maybe. Should I spray paint the tray, the black plastic tray? No, leave it alone. Yeah. Let it... Leave the poop tray black? Yeah. Okay. Because it shows on... on the yeah. Room. This... It's hot. 
Yeah. This can of paint, it was less than $5 at the Walmart. Okay. And I used less than half the can on this one cage. Hey, you can use the rest on the hood of your car. This is all I'm not going to paint, I'm not going to paint the, the hood of the Suburban. This, what well, color is this? Something. Teal blue? It's beautiful. Better it's not really rust. teal. Oh yeah, it's way prettier than the color rust. Okay, that's what I'm saying, may as well. <laughs> it's high gloss, it's going to keep in the rain off of this, right? Yeah. Anyway, that's it. So. I'm Ooh. tired. I'm, it's burning up. I can't stay here much longer. Well, let's go inside. I'm melting. Okay. <laughs> Would you look at that? I'm just going to line this tray with some newspaper. And then I'm going to slide it into the cage. And I was told not to paint the bottom black. So I didn't. Okay, so this is Catherine's little finch. He does not fly very well at all. Um, there's nothing visually wrong with his wings. So he has he has he has gone through a good quarantine here at home. I know I feel safe that he doesn't have any anything contagious that the other birds can catch. His problems are physical and they're not from any kind of bacteria or disease organism. Um, he has splayed legs and twisted feet. Sweet little Catherine saw him and she wanted to rescue him and bring him home. And so we're going to get him out of this little travel cage and put him into this other cage um, that we have spray painted and cleaned up and she's going to keep him in her room now ideally this is a society finch ideally a so we're going to we're going to we are going to get this finch a mate not to breed but just for companionship this is a little boy society finch and he is crested we know that he he's a boy because he sings um And we're going to get him a friend. We're not going to allow them to breed, but just a companion. We may even get like a zebra finch to put with him. Um, or another male society finch. Just so that he's not all by himself. But he is splayed legged. Um, we got him from a bird fair. The person we bought him from, yeah, you heard it, we had to buy him had to pay full price for him um, she wasn't willing to give us a discount or to just give him to Catherine and I'm kind of disappointed in her um, it's not a local person it's someone who comes to a bird fair in Atlanta from Florida with lots of finches um, it's the first and only bird that I have ever gotten from her and I probably will never ever get another bird from her again but I just wanted to point out that ideally society finches would be in larger flight cages. But because this little guy has some physical deformities, he's not able to get around very well. That is the only reason that we are going to keep him in a smaller cage. Now he needs a name. Catherine can probably think up a name on her own. But I'd like for you to give her some suggestions. So. Uh, Maybe in a week or so we'll give a follow-up video. And I would like for you to leave name suggestions below in the comments. And I'll let her pick a name. And then we'll do a, an update next week sometime. So I'm going to very gently and carefully reach in and get him and transfer him into the, the bigger cage. Now you can see the little bobwhite quail in the background. They, uh, I'm going to move them out of that 10 gallon tank later this afternoon go ahead and transfer them to a brooder outside and get that all cleaned up um, but this little finch he's here he's in his cage he's kind of scared so we're just going to leave him alone he has 
right above his head is the plastic perch that was in the carry cage that's down low so that he can easily get up on it. I know it's hard to see, but there is a natural branch up above. Uh, we will add him. I'm not sure that he... Well, he's not able to grip to, to get onto a swing. Uh, but we'll add him some... There he goes up on that perch. We will add him some enrichment toys and get him some millet sprays in the next few days. And get his cage all decked out and get him some some enrichment. So how do you like the, the new cage? How do you like the, the paint job? Simple and easy and quick. Thank you for watching. Um, leave me some comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about painting a cage. Let me know what you think about the color Catherine picked out. Let me know about name suggestions for this little finch. Let me know what you think about this lady that made us buy this little crippled finch that Catherine needed to rescue. Um, give us a thumbs up. Like our videos as always. Be sure to that you are subscribed. And please, sharing is caring. Please share this video with all your friends on social media. Um, Catherine's giggling with her puppy in the background, so I'm going to go and have some fun with that. God bless you. Bye-bye. Look at that right there on my ankle. What am I looking at? Is that a tick? No, it's not. It's wow. It's not a tick, okay. but I know ya. Well, I just got a tick off the cat. Well, I'm probably...